Hi, boys and girls, and moms and dads. It's Father Jim. Today I wanted to share a short reflection on one of my favorite gospel passages, Jesus calming the storm, especially in moments that we are afraid. But first, let's listen to the gospel passage. And it comes from the Gospel of St. Luke. One day, Jesus got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out, and while they were sailing, Jesus fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And Jesus woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. This is appropriate passage, isn't it, boys and girls? What are you afraid of? I know that when I was a little boy, and even sometimes, I'm afraid of the dark. I remember many times in my home, we had a refrigerator in the basement, and where we kept extra milk, extra produce, extra meat that we needed for dinner and throughout the week. And every once in a while, when our jug of milk was empty upstairs, my mom or my dad would say to me, Hey, Jimmy, can you go downstairs and get another gallon of milk? And I was always, always praying that they wouldn't ask me. Why? Well, the basement was always dark. And the light switch to turn on the lights was a little bit further in, so you had to walk a little bit in the dark in order to get to the light switch. So, of course, when mom or dad asked me to do something, I, for the most part, always did it, like you do, boys and girls, right? So I would go downstairs, and when I got to that bottom step, and it was all dark, and I knew it was just a short little run to get the light switch, I would hold my breath, and I would run and turn on the light and go to the refrigerator. And then I have to turn off the light and go through the dark again and run upstairs. But I was always afraid of that. But do you know something, boys and girls? Do you know who was waiting for me always at the top of the stairs? That's right, my mom or my dad would always be waiting there to make sure that I was okay. So even though I was afraid of the dark, someone was always watching over me. Now, some of you have been home now for almost two months, huh? Two months of not going to school. I'm sure there's some boys and girls that like that, not going to school. But it's been hard, hasn't it? Not seeing friends, not seeing your teachers, not having that normal routine, getting up, getting on the bus, going to school, coming home. It's been very different for all of us. And many of us are afraid or we're nervous, or we're anxious because of what's going on, because of the pandemic. But did you hear what Jesus said in the Gospel? After he calmed the waves and stopped the wind hitting the boat, what did he say? That's right, he said, do not be afraid. Even though we're not living in a time that's normal or feels as usual. We have to stay home. We have to wear sometimes masks when we go out for walks or we go into stores. And it may be frightening. But Jesus says, do not be afraid. And that brings me lots of hope. To know that Jesus is with me. Jesus is with us. Jesus is watching over. He's like my mom, like my dad at the top of the stairs when I was afraid to go to the basement. Jesus is there always to 
to watch over us, to protect us, and to help us through this time that we may be afraid. So boys and girls, continue to do your work. Continue to say your prayers. Remember every night, maybe say an Our Father or Hail Mary. Say a prayer for those who might be sick. Say a prayer for those who are afraid. And always trust and always know that Jesus is with us. And so, boys and girls, let us end now with prayer. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, we love you, and we come to you during this time which makes us afraid. We hear your words to not be afraid. Help us always to trust in you, for you always desire and want what is good for us. May we keep safe. May we trust in God. May we always believe the science that is out there. And may we always pray together. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Boys and girls, be safe and be well.